Hey, and good afternoon. We are live today from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm here with Katie Anuli, and she's going to help us organize our kitchens. What? Our kitchens? I know. We spend lots of time in our kitchens. I'm super excited that you guys are joining me today, and I want to please offer a warm welcome to Katie Anuli. Katie, how are you? Good. Thank you so much for having me. So aside from the pantry, what other areas of the kitchen or catch-all areas that could really use a little bit of sprucing up as we're kind of trying to tidy up our kitchens and get organized? Well, I think a kitchen junk drawer is always a place that easily gets disorganized. And this goes for kind of any drawer. But what I always suggest for junk drawers is getting little boxes or drawer dividers so that you can have categories because junk drawers, you need one. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. It's inevitable that it's going to be in your kitchen. So having it organized is super helpful to be able to find things when you're looking for them because a junk drawer is a classic example of things just get lost and then you need AA batteries and you can't find AA batteries, but you know you bought them at some point. So you go out and buy more AA batteries. So if you have a box for batteries in the drunk drawer, then you can easily go and find them. You can repurpose any type of little boxes to use as bins for the junk drawer too. Well, and I think that's really important because in the junk drawer, if you will, I know that we do have some little tiny containers I think that we bought at the Dollar Tree and they're just little plastic containers and they're small enough as far as like the height mm -hmm. that the drawers will open and close with them in there. And we did fill up this entire drawer with these little tiny bins so that we would have, and I guess this is what you're calling categories. We did have one that had batteries in them and that we didn't break up different ones for different batteries, but we had like the nine volt batteries that you use in your carbon monoxide filters. And then we have AA batteries, which are not recyclable, but rechargeable. And so that we use those in the remote controls, like for the TVs and the Game Boys and stuff like that. So there are a lot of household items that we have that all require batteries and they're all inside that one little tiny container. And that's the one container that we go to look for whenever we need a battery for one of the remotes or something around the house. And so if you have a place for that, I think that's key. And then we also have other things like scotch tape and the scotch tape is inside the also in one of those little containers because wherever you are in the house, what do you know? You know that in that one drawer, it's got weird odds and ends that are like little twisty ties that you would use around cables or computer wires or things like that. And so all of that kind of stuff is inside one drawer. And so we don't have it in lots of drawers in lots of different areas of the house. It's all in that one drawer. And then we've got scissors and staplers and other kinds of weird, you would say they're office things and maybe they don't belong in the kitchen, but because there's that one weird drawer of odds and ends, everybody knows where that weird drawer is, including our employees. And so whenever they need an odds and ends, everybody goes to that one drawer. And so that's where it goes. It makes sense. Yeah, that's great. And like different office supplies really makes a lot of sense in that drawer because you're always writing little notes to whoever in the kitchen. And also a lot of people process their mail in the kitchen. Uh -huh. So having those type of things, even stamps or envelopes, depending on you know how big the drawer is, those things can be great for the junk drawer. Well, it, I think that's a, a really important thing. You mentioned stamps. We do have one that has stamps. We have one that has ink pens. So if we find ink pens around the house and they're just loose ink pens, they don't belong loose around the house, but they all go in that one little tiny elongated bin where that's where we keep the extra ink pens. Post-it notes. Like you said, we process mail. If asked to be paid at a certain time, a post-it note can go there. Also, because it's in the kitchen, if there's a note that you need to put on somebody's lunch, you can just make a post-it note, put it right there on the little vegetable container or what have you. It also is close enough to the garage. If you need to make a note, pick up something while you're out that can go in the refrigerator, it can go out on the steering column of the car. It's just a great place to have everything in one spot. So okay. I love that. This was so informative and I really enjoyed our chat today. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you, Katie, for being here and for your wisdom. And uh, we will see you again, same time, same place next week. Thank you. Thank you.